Hi friends, it's Miss Jen and I'm back here for another Sunday School. And today is a special day. Today we celebrate Valentine's. So I have a Valentine's for you that says God loves you and so do I. So I hope that you have a great day and your day is filled with love and that you don't forget to tell those that you love. Happy Valentine's Day. So as we go on for Oops, it's falling. As we go on for Sunday school, today's lesson is about Jesus calming the storm. And it is found in Mark 4, 35 through 41. But before we start reading the story, I wanted to know, have you ever been in a boat? Did you like it? Was it scary? Have you ever been in a storm? And how did that make you feel? Luckily, I've never been on a boat and a storm at the same time, but I've been on both. And I think boating is a lot of fun. And since I grew up in Illinois and we had thunderstorms all the time, when I hear thunderstorms now, it kind of makes me feel comforted and I feel like home, which is not how I felt when I was growing up when I was growing up, sometimes they made me scared. So I will hope that you guys share with each other, your parents, how those things make you feel. And so let's go read the story and we can talk about how Jesus is a guide in our story. Because remember February, our faith word is guide, which is all about the showing the way like the light of Christ. So let's read our story. I'm going to read from the Deep Blue Kids Bible, like I do every week. And Mark is in the New Testament because the first four books of the New Testament are the four Gospels, and it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we're going to go to Mark 4, 35 through 41. Jesus stops the storm. Later that day, when evening came, Jesus said to them, Let's cross over to the other side of the lake. They left the crowd and took him in the boat just as he was. Other boats followed along. Gale force winds arose and waves crashed against the boat, so the boat was swamped. But Jesus was in the rear of the boat, sleeping on a pillow. They woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we're drowning? He got up and gave orders to the wind, and he said to the lake, Silence, be still. The wind settled down, and there was a great calm. Jesus asked them, Why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? Overcome with awe, they said to each other, Who then is this? Even the wind and the sea obey him. So that is... You may have heard this story before. It's, um, I think, one of my favorites. And so how do you think that Jesus was a guide for us in this story? Everybody was afraid in the boat. And the water was crashing up and going inside of the boat. And the wind was blowing really hard. And the disciples were scared, which seems like a reasonable emotion to have, doesn't it? And Jesus said, calm. Don't, you don't have to be scared because we have faith and God is here with us. And then he calmed the sea and the wind. So I think that Jesus is guiding us by telling us that even when we're afraid, even when things seem scary, that we have God on our side and that we should always remember that. So let's watch the wonder video and we'll catch up afterwards. Greetings, I'm Samuel. In today's story, Jesus is in a boat with his disciples. After a long day of teaching, Jesus is tired and is ready to cross the lake. When he gets in the boat, Jesus falls asleep. While he's sleeping, 
A storm comes and rocks the boat back and forth. The disciples get really scared. I would be too. They wake up Jesus and ask him how he can sleep when the boat is rocking so hard. Jesus tells the wind to calm down and the waters became calm again. Whoa, the disciples are amazed. After Jesus calms the storm, he says to the disciples, why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? In this moment, Jesus reminds us that our faith is not just important during good times. Jesus shows us to have faith when things are hard too. One time, the power went out in my house and I was in my room alone. And I was really scared because I don't like the dark. I left my room and went to find my parents. I always feel safe with them. And I knew I would feel better when I got to them. When I got to their room, they gave me a big hug and reminded me that I would be okay. They also gave me a flashlight, which made the dark not as scary. After they gave me the flashlight, they told me this story. My dad said the disciples were scared in their storm too. Jesus came and he calmed it. Jesus also reminded them to have faith, even when it's hard too. I was still a little scared, but the story gave me hope. My parents took out more flashlights so that we could make shadow animals on the wall with them. I realized everything was okay, even though it started off scary. Jesus shows us what to do in difficult times, in times of trouble. We can use Jesus as a guide. This can be hard when you're afraid and you don't know what to do. Remember, Jesus is with us in every situation. Whether you are feeling really good or having a really hard time, even when it's hard, you can have faith. Now it's your turn to wonder. Welcome back. So I have an activity that you guys can try at home this week. Get a few things, recyclable materials. I have Parmesan cheese lid, a little cardboard box of crystal light, a plastic bottle, and a toilet paper tube. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use all of these, but I'm going to work on it and I'll show you at the end. But Jesus and the disciples were on a boat to keep them safe during the storm. And so I thought we would build boats out of recycled material. I'm not sure exactly what materials you have at home, but work, them, work it out, collect some things, and then try and put them all together. And then you can try and see if they'll float in the bathtub or something. So. Why don't you guys try that? And then if you want to show me a picture, um, that would be awesome. I would love to see them. Another activity that you can try this week is doing a calm the storm jar. And I apologize because I don't have a sample with me because I forgot to pick it up at church when I was there this week. But I do have one of these in my office. So I sent this sheet home in the email with with your fam to your families. And so it explains exactly how you make one of these jars. And in the jar, there's um, some water and some glitter. And when you shake it all up, all the glitter goes flowing around and it looks really pretty and then it slowly starts to settle again and I have one in my office because it does help calm me down it's pretty and mine's blue um, but it's pretty and it just kind of relaxes me as I watch the after I shake it up and I see it all all over the place and then it starts calming down so I hope that you guys will maybe try that activity out too and let me know what you think. Before we go, I wanted to share that I have also included the storm journal page. So you can see it right there. And this is just asking you to draw how you feel when you're scared or frightened, 
and then how you feel or what's happening when you're feeling safe. So, or you can write, draw, whatever. If you've been following along with the journal pages each week, there is one for this week as well. And I hope that you guys are also enjoying all the snow that we got. How many inches did you guys get at your house? I think we're around nine inches at my house and it's still coming down. So I hope that you guys have fun going sledding, maybe building a snowman. I think that it's really fun and what a great year to get a big snowfall. So will you pray with me as we head out of Sunday school this week? Dear God, thank you for Jesus who calms the storm and helps us have faith. Amen. Well, just one last time, happy Valentine's Day. Remember that God loves you and so do I. I hope that you have a wonderful week. This week is the start of Lent, which is the time leading up to Easter. So it starts on Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, and hopefully you got the Lenten mailing and um, the newspaper tells you a little bit about it, but you are all invited with your family to come to the Ash Wednesday drive through where Pastor Wanji will be um, giving us ashes on our forehead. Again, all of the information was in your Lenten mailing. I hope that you guys got it and have enjoyed some of the crafts and fun things to do in it. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Go enjoy the snow. Bye, friends. Charge of everything